The ability to collect and manage volunteer geographic information enables governments, citizens, and scientists to collaborate in new ways. I'd like to show you two examples of VGI applications. This first one shows an example of how a federal agency like the National Park Service could use VGI to enhance their services for everyone. Users could use an application like this, either running on the web or on their mobile device, to, collect information, or to, to submit information to the Park Service about things that they've noticed in the park while they were there. They can simply click on the map and provide some information about what they saw. For example, somebody may have noticed some bad potholes making it tr diff travel difficult on a stretch of road. When this is done, they submit a report to the system. The Park Service could then go in and review these reports. When they validate that a valid issue is, uh, has been um, raised with one of these reports, the dot turns from black to red, indicating that they're looking into it. The next step in the process would be to decide on a course of action and who's responsible. When that's done, the information is updated in the system, and the dot turns from red to yellow, indicating that a, a solution is in progress. Finally, when the problem is resolved, the dot turns green and the information is updated a final time. A system like this can provide an agency with a transparent way to provide feedback on what's being done with comments they're receiving. It can also help the citizens feel like their feedback is being heard. My second example of a VGI project is a citizen science project called eBird. Cornell University launched eBird in 2002, and it's changed the way people collect and use information about birds. The system allows registered users to manage a list of locations that can be linked to their observational data. The user's locations are shown in black, and other users' shared locations are shown in blue. There are simple tools for adding new sites to the map. And a flexible tagging system allows people to, to label these in any way they want. These tags can then be used to find other locations of interest. The eBird project has generated millions of observations each year, and it's become one of the fastest and largest, or the largest and fastest growing sources of biodiversity data in the world. Scientists and participants can create graphs and charts based on this information to support their research and their projects. The eBird project also makes using the system fun. They provide users with statistics about how many observations they've made over time, and also provide recognition for the top performers. These kinds of motivational practices are critical for long-term involvement in any VGI project. So what I've shown are two examples of VGI, issue reporting and citizen science. Although the concept of VGI may seem new, volunteer geographic information is just another form of geodata that can be managed in a GIS.